appreciate the, the, the introduction and thank you everybody for your time uh, today. I'm excited uh, to uh, briefly talk about, uh, talk about radio waves. Uh, as you probably know, we are part of Infinite Electronics. Uh, Infinite Electronics has a house of brands. You can easily see them here. Uh, so today is it, we're going to talk about radio waves and how radio waves can um, will help you ensure your backhaul network is reliable for years of service. Uh, we're briefly going to talk about the construction that makes our product, the fastest time to tower, uh, our seven-year warranty, and then we're going to talk about the different series that allow uh, this that allow us to make this possible. I also like to show everybody how our feed horns are made and, and how they look when you get them in the field. Uh, finishing up with a conclusion and some target markets uh, that, that we, we focus on. So um, it's probably, you, you have, a lot of you have known me uh, throughout the years. I've been with Radio Ace for <laughs> quite some time. Um, and the, the main reason people choose Radio Ace it's none other than the durable construction. Uh, it's the quality of the product that, that we use to make our antennas. It is a set and forget installation. Our wind survival speeds uh, start at 125 miles without the optional side strut kit. It increases to 155 miles per hour with that kit um, with our two foot antenna and, uh, exceeding up to 175 miles with that side strut kit. It's a, it's a very good accomplishment for us that we know that our two foot antennas, when you put that conical shape radium on it, can do that for you. Our antennas are, are powder coated and can be custom painted if you need to blend in with some building structures. We, we focus a lot on thicker, tougher shrouds, uh, thicker aluminum sheets. Uh, this, they add added strength, less flex and simplicity in an assembly. Um, we want you to know that when you install a radius product, uh, the, 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 the material you get will stand uh, the occasional drop uh, of ice from the towers without the need to add an ice chill in most cases. Um, yeah, yeah, and you hear us saying fastest time to tower. Um, we, we do this with our one piece design. Um, we, we notice that that design reduces deployment costs. Uh, when you get one of our product uh, to a, a tower site, it comes, uh, you know, in a crate uh, if you're dealing with three foot and higher. Uh, and in most cases, our partners use that crate to put everything else that you need for that site. Uh, when you have it there uh, for our product, you will spend five to 10 minutes of prep time on average for a typical three and four foot antenna. If you're using higher, example, a six footer, yeah, you may, uh, you, you will be up to maybe 20 or 25 minutes. It really depends uh, on the conditions, of course, of the environment around you, uh, but we, our designs are made to make sure that you don't struggle when you're trying to install this. Uh, one of the best things that I always talked about with people is uh, our feed horns. Every unlicensed feed horn can be changed from the back of the antenna by simply removing four screws. You can, uh, if you're using five gigahertz and you need to go to 3.5, you can easily do that without having the need to take the antenna down or realign it. Just change the four screws, put the new feed uh, horn in and voila, your system is back, it's ready to go. With, with, that, with that thought process, we also created what we call retrofit kits. Uh, the, this uh, radio waves creates uh, antennas that allow direct mount capability to specific radios. Uh, we, ha we are noticing that some of those uh, manufacturers are no longer in business and, and they and that purchased a lot of radio waves antennas that are still operational and now it's time to change to something new. Well, we, we have retrofit kits that allow uh, you to do that also by changing them from the back of the antenna. Uh, that is, uh, it involves a little more screws. I think we're, we're dealing with probably up to eight screws, but you change the feed horn, you change the new hardware for the new radio, you put it from the back, no need to take it down and no need to realign it. Uh, so literally that's, that's what we do to save you in uh, deployment costs. Seven year warranty by far, um, when Radio Waves came up with this, uh, we just simply did it because we know our product doesn't uh, 
uh, we, we just don't see any claims of anything happening in the field that will will stop us from doing this. Uh, so rugged construction, the wind survival speeds, seven point connection, uh, ensuring better attachment at higher wing wind resistance. I mean, you can see it on the right hand side. I highlighted the six points. That cast mount that we use in the back is wider than typically in our competition that allows you to cover more of the antenna, uh, allowing you to have that wind load and resistance. Uh, antennas are powder coated. Uh, we have optional side struts uh, that give you that extra wind load support. Our standard performance antennas uh, have that conical shape radar. They allow you to, um, you know, uh, avoid the uh, snow buildup and better wind resistance. So things like that that allows us to give you that seven-year warranty. Uh, so. um, re really quick here, uh, we're going to talk about the two big product series that we offer. Uh, we start with the standard performance, um, SP, SPD. If you know radio waves, you know that SP is single polarized, SPD is dual polarized. Uh, these antennas are ideal for unlicensed applications and with minimal uh, congestion. Antennas are available in different frequency ranges, as you probably know, and different uh, sizes. Uh, we start at 1.3, uh, I believe we go to 11 gigahertz on, on this series. Uh, we do make from one foot all the way to six. Uh, that's important to know. We no longer have the eight footer uh, antenna. And um, the most typical frequencies that um, that sell in this series are the 2.1s, 2.4, 3.5, 4.7, and five gigahertz. They're all uh, frequency ranges that are commonly used in this in this series. Our optional UV resistant conical shape radon lowers the wind load and reduces snow and ice accumulation. So that's uh, in this series that radon cover is optional. You don't need to get it, but if you want to protect your system further, it is available for you. I do want to point out here on the right hand side, we have a list of model numbers. I don't know if uh, you have heard, but Radioways came out with a wider frequency range yeah, the 4.9 all the way to six gigahertz. Uh, we started that, that series at two foot all the way to six. And um, uh, we, we have it available in dual polarized only. Uh, and they continue with the same format of interchangeable feed horns. So example is you have a, a 5.2 to 5.85 in the field. You can easily change this feed horn now and make it 4.9 to 6.0. So I, I put a list of here with our part numbers for the antenna and the respective feed horn to make it easy if that is something that you're, you're thinking of doing. I always like to show how uh, our designs are made of and why we make that one piece design that allows you to deploy your, your, your link quicker. Uh, in reality, we, we focus on the mounting kit, uh, the, the mounting bracket, the dual polarized feed horn that you see here, the reflector, and in this series, which is the standard performance, is the radon cover, which is optional. Something to mention here is uh, one and two foot antennas, they can be installed to a two and a half, uh, two inch pipe mass all the way to four and a half. Once you go higher, uh, to three foot and higher, it, it has, the recommended installation is a four and a half inch pipe mass. Uh, on the right, you will see an installation for a, a three or a four footer where they did not want the radon cover. It is dual polarized and you see them connecting it to that radio um, with the two coax cables. So very cool how they do that uh, and they send it to us when we're supporting this, uh, uh, this product. Uh, the, the other um, series of products that we have here is the high performance series. Uh, this is the one that we've, um, uh, the product that, that allows us to make the direct mount radios. It is uh, uh, used for uh, license and unlicensed band applications where congestion and radiation patterns are critical. Uh, it reduces interference in noisy environments with up to 52 dBi front to back ratio and suppress silos. So this is the, the antenna that you will put out there if you're installing in areas where you you is where you see a lot of noise or a lot of other uh, big antennas around you, 
Uh, the, like I said before, this is the one that supports the direct mount. Uh, direct mount, as you probably know, is already only for licensed frequencies. Uh, and, and the frequency range is for this series is, is, is wider, 2.1 all the way to 40 gigahertz, one foot all the way to six. Um, and it's uh, most typically unlicensed frequencies. Here are the four, seven to five gigahertz. And of course, for license, um, six, 11, 18, and 23. Uh, so again, uh, we also incorporated the, uh, we, we call it a 5W, which is the wider frequency range, 49 to 60. Uh, you will see here the SKUs for this series and their respective feed horns. Uh, usually, the feed horn is the same for either series except on the three foot antenna. Here you will notice a little difference where we have to call it for an HP or an SP. There is a difference in the design and the focal point to allow you to get your, your, your maximum strength. Uh, and well, I always, you've probably seen this before, I like to see the difference here. Um, when you're dealing with high performance, mounting assembly, mounting bracket and feed horn, if you're using, in this example, I, I put the 5.2, uh, it, it's the same, the brackets, the mounting bracket, the feed horn is the same. The only thing that changes here is the HP reflector. Now with our high performance series, the radium cover is included. So you don't have to, uh, that comes with it. We wanna make sure that the, all the protection is there. Uh, and on the right here, we show you uh, samples of, of installations in the field where they're using a direct mount uh, product. An overview of the feed horns uh, is really easy here. Um, I like to show uh, all the end type connectors that you see on the left. They, they can be using the standard performance and high performance. The elliptical waveguide feed horn on the right here is mostly used with a high performance product. Uh, the, the other thing is the retrofit kit that makes it very unique for the uh, high performance series for the different di uh, direct mount applications. It comes with the feed horn and the hardware for that specific radio that you want to go to. So we just wanted to show you how that looks uh, in this in this di diagrams. Okay. Uh, you probably have seen the markets that, that are most um, common for us, telecom utilities, government, public safety, defense, oil and gas, of course, the WISP market. Uh, those are some of, a few of the markets that, that we focus on. We, we make microwave backhaul antennas. You tra you're getting point A to point B and it can be using any application where that is needed, that's crucial. So that is uh, something that we will, uh, we will always uh, focus on primarily. Um, for us, is 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 uh, you probably know radio waves. It's been a, uh, around for a long time, 1983, if I remember correctly. And our focus continues to be in antennas and antennas only. So we we design that product, uh, our one piece design and wire construction will continue to save you money and installation costs and maintenance. And I cannot stress enough and talk about the interchangeable feed horns and retrofit kits, uh, where you know you have an, a a radio manufacturer that is no longer in business. You buying this this uh, this retrofit kits will allow you to uh, continue to have that antenna still alive without needing to realign it, and when the time comes to change to something different. Uh, and again, our seven-year warranty, best in the industry, I believe, is a demonstration that we're here with you to ensure your network reliability stays up for many years to come. So, wanted to, to let you guys know. And for for me, it's a quick presentation, just showing you. Um, uh, you know, what, what radio is all about, the product that we offer. Um, you, you, all of you guys probably know, uh, we try to respond to you guys same day uh, to ensure that you we are here with you. Uh, identifying opportunities, most of you know this, uh, you know, is this for unlicensed and licensed application that gets you closer to what you need, what type of connection do you need, direct mount and type, uh, do you need single or dual, what is the gain size antenna requirement? Are you looking for standard or high performance, the wind load? All of these questions are very important to get you closer to that, that one antenna that, will, that our customer is looking for.